Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, it is the weekend, so I have off right now and we decided to go to a nature trail like we do every single weekend. Um, decided to go to a little bit of a new one today and I did just, we actually just finished the walk, but I didn't film an intro yet, so um, we ended up going on this one that was like 38 minutes, I think it was, away from our house. Um, and I included some clips because when I was walking, I thought it was so cool. I figured I'd share with you guys. There's, there was like a little beach and Brayden went for her first little beach swim ever. She's not a big fan of the water, but she'll lay on the first step of our pool when it gets really hot and we come back from a walk. Um, but she actually like seemed to really enjoy it. She kept going back in on her own like after I stopped recording. Um, yeah, so, and she was like doing this little trot. It was so cute. But we just finished up our walk now, and I'm about to head home, or well, we're both about to head home, and then for dinner I'm making chicken wings, so I figured I would share my chicken wing recipe with you guys, because I actually have gotten a few people asking what I do for that, and honestly, it's so simple. I don't do anything. Like, it, it's really the easiest chicken wing recipe you will ever find, but they taste amazing. I swear, I promise, and I think it's the best way to do it, and it's the most simple way to do it too. Uh, so yeah, I'll take you guys along and see, I'll show you if we do anything else, and then I'll also show you guys that recipe. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. You're walking a little funny this down there. easier coming up than it is Come on, now. let's go down. Come on. You did so good going up. Should we go that one? Come on. There you go. Oh, good job. Oh, she's got it. Go on, keep going. Okay, now it's normal. Ish. <laughs> as normal as it's gonna get. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is our view of our walk today. Oh my god, how pretty. Come on. Let's go all the way down. <laughs> Good job, girl. Come on, let's go. Go swim. What are you even looking at? Nothing over there. You wanna go for a swim? Oh look at the The man mangroves are over there. Raven hates the water, but for some reason she was okay with going to the Let's go! Oh about to have the sandiest shoes and we still have I don't even know how many more miles left to go. Come on. The water oh this one's again. What is that? Is that a scary rock? Is that a scary rock? Your mama has a scary rock. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> do your trot. Go on, do your little trot. Can't get over how pretty this is. 
This was on our nature walk. This is what we found on our nature walk. <laughs> Someone's taking a little nap in the back seat. Hi, baby. Are you tired? Huh? Yeah, we had a good walk, didn't we? So stinking. Okay, so I'm about to start making the chicken wings. We got three packs here. Um, we just have them split down, and then there's about four pounds per one. So there's about five of us, and we pretty much all eat a lot. And then I got this buffalo sauce. Uh, my mom really loves mixing it with the Sweet Baby Ray's. She mixes half that and then half the buffalo sauce, and she says it's good. Do you say it's good, Mom? It is very good. It is very good. It's sweet and hot. Yep, and then you're going to need... Just like me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you're not wrong. Then you need the oven on preheat for warm. Uh, so when your chicken wings get out, you have somewhere to keep them or you can just eat them all at once. So I got the, the air fryer preheating on 400 degrees. It's been preheating for like three minutes right now. So I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to go fill it up with some chicken wings. Okay, so I got them right here. Literally nothing. Sometimes you put salt and pepper on it, but nothing else. I just toss them in once the oven is, or once this has been preheated. And you just toss as many in. I thought these were all split. Apparently they're not. We usually get them split. And I just fit as many in there as I can. This is the Ninja XL. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go toss it in the oven or toss it back in. We'll leave it for 30 minutes. I Sometimes I'll put seasoning on it. Show them what seasoning sometimes we put on it. Show them. We put, sometimes we'll put this seasoning on it, but really, if you're just putting sauces on it and stuff, it doesn't really need any sort of seasoning. Um, that's just my opinion, but that's another one we use. We try to use a lot of stuff that doesn't have like too much salt and too much pepper or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go toss these in for 30 minutes. I'll take the, this uh, spray mist out. I'd show you if my hands weren't dirty. But I sometimes I'll take the spring misto and about every, it's back there, every, I'd say, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, you check on them, see if they're getting crispy. If they're not getting crispy, then you spray them a little bit, some areas. I used to make these chicken wings all the time with, um, I used to make them with the, what were they called? The, <coughs> with flour and I would put like a, some sort of, powder or something on it too uh, to help make them crispy but now I realize that it doesn't need that it's just adding uh, carbs added calories for something that doesn't really have that much of an effect so I'll show you guys what they look like in about 30 minutes we're already a few we're already a few plates in, and once they are done, nice and crispy, we ended up cutting them up because they don't really like, cook as well unless they're like cut separately. And I really like the flats better. I don't know. Um, but oh, and there's Raven drooling on me while she's watching her mom eat and beg. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just got that buffalo sauce, and then also we had ranch. So I mixed a little bit of ranch with the buffalo sauce and just added it on top. And just a little bit and yeah it's pretty damn good good morning you guys it is the next day i just woke up i made my coffee mm -hmm. which is really good it is a pretty much a starbucks um caramel macchiato but i just make it at home because five dollars for a cup of coffee ain't my cup of tea 
I guess ain't my cup of coffee. Um, it's really easy to make. I don't know if I've made it in a vlog or not before, because I know I've made coffee a few times, um, but I'm trying to get away from like energy drinks and stuff, which is what I drink every single morning. I'm not sure if coffee is better for you than energy drinks. I mean, I guess, because like, would energy drinks not just be made with chemicals rather than like a coffee bean? Um, but I was reading online that something that said that energy drinks actually just have as much caffeine or have less that caffeine than most cups of coffee. I don't know if that's true. I, I don't know, but I'm about to like look it up later. But if anybody knows down below, like, please tell me because I don't know. I like them both. So I'm about to go to the post office. Then I'm going to come home take a walk and we're gonna go out for dinner and I will take you guys along with us. Hey guys, so I finished up with the post office and did everything I needed to do. Um, took a shower, got ready, and at the post office, I got a really nice package in the mail. Um, a couple of weeks ago when I, or actually I think it was just last week, uh, I was doing a QA and a on Instagram and one company messaged me and asked me if I would be up to receiving some free stuff in the mail. And I mean, who doesn't love free stuff in the mail, right? So they reached out to me and they ended up sending me um, a couple of shirts, which I thought were really cool. And in this house and in this family and on this channel, we support some small businesses. Um, my dad is a business owner. A lot of people in my family are business owners. Um, so I figured I would share it with you guys. Plus, there's quite a few cool shirts right here. And one in particular, I'm going to save for last, which is my favorite. But the company is called High Spirit Shirt. And I'm going to tag all their stuff in um, the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try on these shirts for you guys. So here is the very first shirt. Here is the second shirt. And here is the third shirt and the one that spoke to me the most. <laughs> so, like I said, really nice shirts. I always support small businesses when I can. Um, and I figured I would share it with you guys. So if you guys want to check them out down in the description below, um, I'll leave some of their social media pages. Um, they didn't, this isn't sponsored or anything like that. They just sent me the shirts. They didn't even ask me to talk about it or post it on social media. Um, but yeah, so I figured I would share it with you guys. And right now, pretty much the day is coming to an end. We're just going to go, uh, get some dinner and then call it a day. We're going to go get some mod which is like pizza but you put your toppings on and they cook it like you go through like a little line like a chipotle like a chipotle for pizza yeah it's freaking delicious um so we're gonna go get that i'll show you guys what i get but other than that i think i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here um thank you guys so much again for watching and i'll catch up with you guys in the next one bye